I am here at the RSA conference as a guest. Thank you for having me. I have been sitting in on talks. I've been meeting people. I have been observing your ways and your culture, and I have been trying to learn your language. Now, you are an industry conference, so it makes total sense that you would have your own jargon and terminology for things, but it's tough sometimes. So I thought before the session actually starts, I would give you an update on where a civilian like me might become hopelessly left behind. Now, a perfect example would be yesterday, very beginning of the show, Rohit came out and he was killing it. He was giving an engaging talk. It was enthusiastic. I was tracking just fine. And then about four minutes in, he mentioned an RSA Academy in Singapore that provided, quote, hands-on experience in a real sock. And when he said hands-on experience in a real sock, all of your heads were nodding. And I was thinking, does he mean hands-on experience in a real sock? Like, what's going on in Singapore? And there are many, many examples like this. Let's just start with the big one. I'm just going to do full disclosure. The first time I heard the word infosec, I presumed that it was 1 60th of an info minute. Okay, I thought it was a data transfer rate. I did, like bytes per minute. And I, I still think it could be, right? When someone says, hey, can I talk to you for a sec? However long that story takes, that's your packet. You know, that's your infosec. Or, and I could be wrong about this, but I suspect an infosec could also be the pause that you have to take when you tell a civilian what you do for a living and then wait to see if they know what the hell you're talking about, right? That's how I picture it. And what do you do for work? I'm in InfoSec. It means cybersecurity. You know, that's just the way I picture it. Um, Two-factor authentication. Some of the terms I do presume I already know. Two-factor authentication. I know this. This is, this is when you examine your t-shirt and sniff it before putting it on. Right? You're like, it looks clean enough. That's one. And you're like, it smells clean enough. That's two. And then you, you, you walk out of the house with it. Um, Pseudo random number. I learned this for the first time this morning, but I already know what it is. I mean, we all know what this is. A uh, pseudo random number is when you drunk dial your ex and you pretend it was an accident, right? You're like, what's up? I called you by mistake, but what are you doing on, on a Wednesday night at midnight? Are you seeing anybody? Anyway, uh, <laughs> GDPR. Now let's have a talk about GDPR. I have heard this dozens and dozens of times since I've been here. I have not looked it up. I have no idea what it means. I'm stubborn. I want to learn it from context. I don't know if I will be able to. It is so thoroughly worked into your speech. It's like you're all talking about a guy named Kevin, and I'm the only guy in the room who doesn't know who Kevin is, okay? And just so you know, I don't think you like Kevin very much. To hear you talk about GDPR, you're not, I don't know. I, I truly don't know what it means. Uh, the, the most I can think it means is, God damn, people really like to talk about this GDPR thing. <laughs> Closed loop. Okay, loadable kernel modules. Just came across loadable kernel modules, and I'm gonna throw a flag on you guys, okay? Just say popcorn, just say microwavable popcorn. <laughs> Don't get all fancy, okay? Uh, Smurf attack. I did look up some of the terms, they're just too provocative. I had to know what is a Smurf attack. I Googled it, first result, didn't quite understand it. Second result, maybe didn't quite understand it. Third result, totally understood it, traumatized me. <laughs> like, what I like is that, now, I get it that that's Papa Smurf in the middle, and I, I, I guess that's Smurfette with the switchblade on the left, but which Smurf is that on the right? Is it like steroid Smurf or Romanian hitman Smurf? He looks like he's going to Smurf your Smurf up really bad. Um, hash value. Heard it, I thought, I have no idea what that is. I Googled it, and I was like, I totally know what that is. <laughs> I know what that is. I majored in that at UC Santa Cruz. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, by the way, if any of you, any of you, just now converted ounces to grams in your head, you're not just good at math, okay? You have a hobby. I see you. I know what's going on. The key logger, heard it. Didn't know what it meant. Turns out it's not key logger, it's the key logger. It's the most important lumberjack in a group of lumberjacks. Uh, lumberjacks of this variety, by the way, as a group are called a, a Portland of lumberjacks. Um, bad actor and threat actor. Heard it a lot. Pretty sure I knew what it meant. Wanted to make sure, do I know what bad actor is? Googled the term. Okay, yeah, I get it. You get it from home. 
Uh, actually love that movie, Billy Madison, forget about it. Uh, and Threat Actor. Again, do I know what Threat Actor is? Google it. Yes, okay, good. Uh, by the way, he got a lot of hits for Bad Actor too, but there, there can be only one. And finally, Honey Monkey. Okay, Honey Monkey, it's already become a little nickname between my girlfriend and I and our text thread. I have a favor to ask. I know that you deal with a lot of unsavory types and a lot of weird and maybe illegal behavior, okay? I fear that this might be one of those terms. Don't tell me if it is, okay? Let me stay pure. Let me keep this as my honey monkey, please. Thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow, and thanks for all the words.